Hi folks, welcome to Bear Mountain. Today we're making another batch of lactic acid bacteria, also known as LAB, that we use in our Korean natural farming. LAB has got a lot of uses from helping plants uh, fight off mildews and funguses to helping treat soil. It's got a wide variety of uses in um, animal husbandry, great for odor reduction, also very useful in helping compost piles that are out of balance, meaning like they kind of smell like ammonia or something like that. This LAB will help uh, make things right with that. So what do we use? We, we use some really simple things. We use whole milk, this is a half gallon, made some rice wash water. What that means is when you cook your rice, you wash the rice, you take the first um, washing of it and you put it in a jar to capture uh, the lactic acid bacteria that are in the natural environment. There's some that was on the rice itself and there's some also too in our own area. This has been sitting for approximately, um, we got a, going on a third day today. And when we know that this is ready to use, when we take the top off, it has a definite sour odors kind of smells almost like sourdough bread starter and that's when we know this is ready to go and usually what happens is you get two um, bottom layer a bottom layer and a top layer on top of bottom is sediment from the rice wash itself the top layer is uh, residue from from the rice that has maybe oxidized a bit but is left floating on top and what we're going to go for is what's in here uh, in the middle. We need approximately, to do this right, a 10 to one ratio. So we're going to use approximately six ounces of this rice wash, and then we'll put in 64 ounces, which is a half gallon of the milk. This, once it's done and then mixed up, is stored at room temperature, usually away from a source of light, someplace where the temperature is even, in about anywhere from three to five days, what you'll notice is the cheese curd will float to the top with our LAB at the bottom. And that's what we're going for is that LAB liquid. The cheese can be fed to your dog, to chickens, or you can even make a cheese out of it yourself to eat. Um, it's not harmful to you at all. Matter of fact, really um, helpful to livestock. Chickens love it. so. Let's go ahead and start. We're gonna make it. I use a turkey baster just basically to kind of poke through that top layer and try not to disturb the bottom sediment. And we're going to uh, take a few minutes here to get this done. Try to get as little sediment as possible. Okay, so we measured out just a tad bit more than six ounces because this is 64 ounces. So you, know, you can be a little bit more than that, but it's approximately uh, six ounces of, of the uh, rice wash, which definitely smells like sourdough starter. And we'll put this in here. Remember, this is a one to 10 mixture. We're done with the rice wash that we can just put out on the compost pile or down the drain. Actually, LAB is also good for uh, getting rid of odors coming out of drains if you got some. Okay. This needs to be whole milk. We use whole milk because it makes a better cheese. So what we're doing is um, least processing of the milk seems to give a better result. So the more processing, fat removal, other things that are going on, um, it'll work basically with it. It's just that I found that whole milk makes a um, better product, but that's just my personal bias. It's not necessarily proven to be true. And there's many people that make LAB um, out of all kinds of things that are vegan, so it can be made on many different substrates. I'm using whole milk. What is our specific plan for the LAB? 
Okay, uh, a couple things. The first thing we're going to be doing with it is um, in the tunnels this time of year, we tend to get um, high, high heat during the day, cool at night. So we have a potential for powdery mildew, particularly on things like delphinium. So I'm going to be using it on that. Um, it's also um, really good for making fermented seawater. And I'm going to be using that. Um, we talked about that when we did our ranunculus, but we're also going to be doing that for some of our vegetables. Um, this year too, to help give minerals and at the same time give a kind of a good charge to the, the soil itself. So those are going to be the two main things that we're going to do with it. Okay, the last step, really pretty simple. We just make certain that we uh, kind of give it a good stir. Make sure that it's all mixed up in there. is it for that and then as a final step we just put a barrier over the top to allow it to breathe yet at the same time we'll keep um, little critters from wanting to fly into it or do something and this is just paper towel um, any kind of uh, a type of uh, you know permeable uh, paper product will work. Uh, you wouldn't want to use wax paper or something like that because you do want this to breathe. And that's it. Now we're just going to put this in our pantry, which is kind of room temperature, seventy ish, and dark, and um, just check on it every day. And what we'll notice is it's a look pretty much the same for about probably a day and a half, two days, then the separation usually happens fairly fast. When it begins, it usually moves fast. Within a few hours, you, you'll see the whole fat curd float to the top and the whey with the LAB will be down below. Um, once you get pretty much, you know, as much separation as, as you think you're gonna get out of it, it's usually 80 to 80%. There's still maybe some streaks on the side or maybe a little sediment on the bottom. You know, you're never going to get 100%. So the whole idea is you'll probably, in this case, we'll have about a one to two inch uh, layer of uh, cheese curd on the top, and then about that much of LAB, which will translate out of a half gallon, we roughly get a little more than a liter. Didn't we show this once before? We did. So be sure to go back and check out our other KNF videos. We'll put a link down below just to kind of give you an idea of what we did on this before. Just wanted to show it again to say, you know, this is something we do on a regular basis. It's really easy to do. So thanks for watching today. And hey, if you haven't subscribed, please do uh, get hit the notification bell if you want to know when our videos are coming out. And I want you all to have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.